This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Cloudy skies as we go through the evening hours. Some rain and snow showers start to develop after midnight tonight. Uh, going to be uh, isolated to scattered coverage of those. And it is going to be downright cold this weekend, folks. The nice weather we've had the last two days coming to an abrupt halt. Areas of snow showers, breezy at times. I think we'll see a quick break early next week before mid to late week things get colder again. Yesterday, 53, not to that 58 degree average high. 22 was our low. And uh, nothing new in the rain gauge yesterday. It's still 27 hundreds for the month, 220 for the year. And we're still doing quite well on snowfall for the season. But sadly, I don't think we're going to see any more days here the rest of this month when it fills in that we're going to see above normal temperatures. So it is going to be uh, 26 of the 31 days below normal uh, out there for high temperatures. And uh, as we look at uh, precip, off and on a few uh, periods of precip, and we've got more chances coming uh, tonight into tomorrow, slighter chances on Sunday, better chances Wednesday night, Thursday of next week as we continue to see some active systems here across the region. The breezes will be with us almost every day. It's going to be breezy to windy, and uh, that's just going to make those cold temperatures feel worse. We've got 50s across a large portion of the central part of the country, a uh, big severe weather threat ongoing in portions of the south. Uh, an absolute nasty day in uh, this portion of the country. Otherwise, uh, here close to home, we're not bad at all. We've got uh, temperatures that are in the 50s uh, for most of us. Uh, a few upper 40s in eastern Wyoming. Those colder temps, though, 39 at Cheyenne, 40 at Casper are coming our way. Winds out of the northwest at 10 to 20, gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour. So that's dropping those wind chills down into the 30s and 20s in eastern Wyoming. No wind chills to be concerned about, really, as temps are in the 40s and 50s across the rest of the region. Off and on snow showers and rain showers uh, to the west of us this evening. They'll spread a little more closer to our area overnight into early tomorrow morning. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, I think we're going to see a band of snow showers set up. Now, where this ultimately forms going to be very uh, dependent on where it gets the areas of snow. Right now, they're showing a pretty healthy band there in the central portions of the Panhandle with a big part of the day Saturday snowing before it pushes off to the north and east. If that happens, those areas are going to see quite a bit of snow. Where that ultimately happens, though, is going to be a little tough to pin down. 20s to near 30 tonight for a low. Only 30s tomorrow as we're much colder for highs. And take a look at this. That snowfall, again, if it sets up over some of those same areas, we're talking uh, several inches of snow possible, and then outside of it, just light dusting to an inch or so. And again, don't be surprised to see that area move a little bit. Just know the possibilities out there for very isolated pockets of moderate to even heavy snow. Rain and snow overnight tonight, 29. Tomorrow, snow off and on throughout the day. We'll call for about an inch or so. Here locally, it's going to be windy at times as well. And then our seven-day forecast, we keep the wind around uh, in cold snow showers into Sunday. Highs only in the 30s into Monday. We warm up briefly a Tuesday and Wednesday, then some late day snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday, and temps fall back into the 40s. None of those days do we get back to our average high of 58.